Hey, how's everybody? This is Oris back with another video on the channel. Today, we're going to take a look at AutoCAD for web. I've made a tutorial on AutoCAD for Mac and Windows. They were pretty, you know, complete tutorial. But sometimes you have a computer which is not strong enough to run AutoCAD. In case of Mac, you should be okay because if you have any M1 based Mac, you should be able to run AutoCAD very, very smoothly. But Windows, you know, you probably have an older computer and you just want to work on a 2D. Autodesk has this product called AutoCAD Web. I will walk you through and give you a quick tutorial how to use this and what are the most common commands available in this uh, web version of AutoCAD and how do you actually do the 2D work in that. So this is just a walkthrough and quick review plus tutorial for you guys. To be able to access AutoCAD for web, you will need to go to this website, web.autocad.com, and you have to make sure you're logged in with your Autodesk account. I have this educational access to Autodesk products, which is uh, valid through 2025, and if you are a student, you can also get Autodesk products for free. Now, you go into the list of your products and click on Access. That'll basically take you to this website anyway. Now, this is the user interface for AutoCAD, and I would like to create a new drawing, which is very self explanatory All you got to do is just click on a little arrow, choose Imperial or Metric. We'll use Imperial drawing, and this is now initializing the drawing for us. Now, that in terms of user interface, you have pretty much all the 2D commands, like draw panel and annotation panel, and then the modify commands. Now you don't have any fancy commands for you know importing exporting or doing some you know uh options that are available in desktop this is the plain basic version of autocad which is you know which will get you work on your 2d plans now let me just um collapse this object properties now if we look at we have this draw panel we have annotate panel and then the modify panel this is not going to be complete tutorial of AutoCAD web, but basically overview of what the software offers. But we'll still do a project uh, within this AutoCAD web, so you have a good idea what is possible in this. So if you look at, uh, I'm panning around, it's basically all the web commands for navigation works pretty similar. You click and you drag to the left, to get the green selection, you click drag to the right to get the blue selection. Now there are differences between green and blue, which we're not going to get into that. But the selection, uh, panning, and zoom in, zoom out works the same. You have a command here, zoom extend. You have a zoom window, which means you can make a window to zoom into it. Now let's take a look at how do we start building or configuring. The main thing that we have available here is called type command. So if I say drawing settings, that'll give you this pop up where you can, you know, do some configuration for your software, but also set up. So if you look at units, because we created a new project using Imperial, that's why we have this format set to architectural and the precision and then the a format degrees um, decimal. You could actually go ahead and then change that to something else, but we'll just leave that as decimal. You have an option to set up your snap and grids that we'll take a look at later. We have an object snap, so you can turn on and off certain object snapping, tracking, preferences for your AutoCAD. I'm using the dark version because that's what I like. Otherwise, you could go with the light version as well. But for this, we just keep that dark. Okay, navigation. Navigation, you can use the, you know, reverse navigation, which means that if you uh, scroll up, scroll down on a trackbar or a mouse, you will have a reverse navigation. Okay, so that the main thing I want to show you here is the units. You can change the architectural units to it. Now, let's start by building a, a plan. Now, if I start typing zero, as you see that the command automatically writes that here. Let's build a small project using the commands available in AutoCAD. So I'll just select the rectangle command and you can also type REC, enter, and then that will be a rectangle command. It's asking for a first corner, so it's a zero comma zero. 
now i'm going to press tab and i'm going to actually first let's define the weight so we just say 20 and then press tab here and then for that we just make it at 20 as well now if i do z which is a zoom command and here you can see similar to dexter version you have an option for a zoom for example zoom extend means that it's going to just zoom out until all the objects that you've drawn on the canvas are visible let's use offset command to create walls for this 20 feet well, offset command is here you can also trigger that by pressing o and we say zero comma nine inches enter and then enter and then we just click one time and then click inside and that's your uh, wall for this room now next thing what i want to show you some of the draw commands so you can click on circle and you can just select the circle and create a circle just like you do that in a desktop version next we have this arc well in desktop version we have a uh, three types of arc like 2p arc uh three point arc and various other types of arc but in this version i can only see that you have a starting point and then the second point and then the third point that's like a three point arc that you have here let's erase so i select an object press e and then enter to erase that we have a polyline which is pretty good actually this is not a polyline but this is sp line so to do that you can use line you have this x line which is like used to call a construction line then simple line and then the polyline the polyline is basically when you draw a polyline you have the command that will make one object other than a polyline you have this like line line all of lines are separate objects so for 3d world you need to make sure you use a polyline uh, for the most part now in terms of draw panel we also have a command array divide ellipse and polygon so these are like all common array you know it just loops on the object and then creates the duplicates of it by specifying some properties for example if i select an array and select this this line here and then press enter and then i'd say it's gonna be just an array of uh rectangle so let's just say r and you see that it, it's creating an array within the rectangle and a cool part is that once you enter that you can actually select an array and then increase or decrease in rows and columns which is which is great which is like a separate object i will press u for undo and enter u for undo enter and then u for undo enter we actually you're gonna get rid of this completely next all of these are common command we have a measure command so click on this and then you can select the you know a corner point or you can hover over on the wall that will just give you the the uh the dimensions on the fly which is very very handy so if you look at you know it's a nine inch wall uh so yeah that measure command is really good you also have a rev cloud for annotation dimension is you know very common you can select one point and then select other point and you see we have a 20 feet room apart from dimensions we also have a text command so just create a text box start typing you have this m leader command so let's say if i select this point and then just start typing there as well now these are some annotation basic commands Next, we have the uh, same move command. If you select some object and then you can move them by picking a point, you have a mirror command and then, you know, you have a fillet and chamfer of very important commands and then the copy command, the cut command, and then the erase command. So all of these are very easy to trigger in the shortcut key. But in terms of, let's say, do I think this web version of AutoCAD is good enough for building 2D drawings? But I think most of the 95% commands that you're going to need for building any kind of 2D in AutoCAD, they are here. Because one thing, when the, the 2D becomes so big, you need to be able to 
uh, structure those in layers. Different objects and different types of objects must have a separate layers, which will give you ability to turn on and off and freeze, which is very important. And you know, the, this layers are available here. That's really surprising because you know that will take this version of web, web uh, AutoCAD web to a next level. You also have ability to create blocks or import blocks, which is amazing. Then some other external references come out there as well, because you know when you're using your web version of AutoCAD, you it might be not your computer, it might be someone else's computer. So I believe uh, pretty much you know uh, ninety five percent of the time that you're building two D, these commands are more than enough. And um, yeah. Without, uh, okay, before we finish this video, I'd like to say a couple of things that you have it here as well. For example, you can turn on and off polar. You can do a settings here, click on settings, and that'll take you tracking settings, and then you can define your own angle. The ortho, if you know ortho, when you turn the ortho on, then you can only move one uh, line. Like, you know, if I start a line, and I can either go straight, you know, to the zero degree angle, or to 90 degree angle or 270 or 180. So that's the ortho does. Now let's go to all snapping. All snapping is very common. And luckily the settings are here. You can switch on and off these options. Snap and grids, well, very common. If you, want to, if you like to see grids, you can turn them off as well if you want to. And you know, uh, that's, that's really important. And some people don't like to work with the grids when they're in the background. Now we also have layouts. So this software very well be used for printing. So if you look at this plot to PDF, and here you have a you know way to print layout and the scale and then the font style. So for the basic printed, this is good enough once you finish your your project. Now, what about the setting? Setting button is like the same button that you type settings and then this model comes up. So that's your 2D, uh, that's your web version of AutoCAD. And I was really surprised if you really wanna quickly edit something, any any DWG file, AutoCAD file, uh, you don't really need a you know high-end computer or spin up your computer. You can actually use and open your files if they are you know stored in iCloud or Google Drive or somewhere in the cloud. You can open those right in your browser, which is amazing. Okay, so I hope you liked the video. If you did, subscribe to the channel and I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Cheers.